as a Cajun and as a chef, I truly live to eat. I always look at the world with culinary value. What have you got to offer me to eat and how can I use it? I'm Isaac Toops. I'm a Cajun chef from New Orleans, Louisiana. My family's always been passionate about our Cajun heritage, up until the Acadians, where we knew very little about. In the 18th century, the Acadians were exiled by the British into South Louisiana. I decided to travel 2,000 miles to Nova Scotia to find out more about my culinary ancestry and what it means to be an Acadian and now a Cajun. So I met with Chef Alain Bosset, the kilted chef, an Acadian ambassador to Nova Scotia. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. I want an adventure, man. We're going to take you to Grand Pre National Park, show you a little bit about your ancestors. I've arranged for you to go to a local winery and to a local brewmaster's to have some good beer. Oh, now you're talking. When you come back to my farm, I'm going to take you to the farmer's market, take you to my favorite purveyors, and we're going to do an Acadian chicken frico cooking together. Yeah. Acadian meets Cajun. It should make it fun. We began our trip at Grand Pre a powerful national monument to Acadian history. So all around us here, this is where the Acadian village of Grand Pre was. This is where the Acadians lived and worked. After the deportation, a lot of Acadians migrated down to Louisiana, and Acadien became Cajun, became Cajun. We have some plaques in the church that list all the Acadian family names from not just Grand Pre, but all over Acadia. My mother told me that the Saunier name is an ancient relative of ours. So we checked with the genealogist, and Saunier was actually in prison, and you see his name. I had only heard my ancestral Acadian names in my mother's stories. To actually see their names on the plaque at Grand Pre really kind of drove home the point that I am an Acadian. Al, thank you so much. Hey, likewise. Please, please, please try some of this amazing food in Nova Scotia, and I'll see you in the kitchen tomorrow. See you tomorrow, man. I enjoy talking to anyone who is very passionate about their craft. This is a really fun time to be in the vineyard because things are starting to ripen. Mm -hmm. Deliciously mm -hmm. sour. I love the tartness, it's almost like citrus. This is our Ancien Chardonnay from 2016. You'll see on the label we have a red-tailed hawk and in his talons an ancient Acadian farming tool. This is a bit of a tribute to those who cared for the land before us. A divine wine, absolutely fantastic. They use blueberries and vegetables that they grow. Like the Cajuns, the Acadians use whatever you had around them. Cheers. No tour of a new city is complete without the tour of the local brewery. The malt that we use is from the region. Acadian spruce beer used to be made here. So oh, really? So this is like a heritage beer? beer. Yes. A spruce beer is a great example of using what you have to make what you want. We have spruce, I want to make beer. Why can't I make spruce beer? Wow, not only is that good, that's great. Daniel, yes. salute Salut. to you and your brewery. Thank you very you much. You do a fantastic job. Hey, this is our first stop, Lakerman Farms. The reason I picked the Frico is because it's an Acadian staple. Chicken Frico is, for all intents and purposes, a good chicken stew. But instead of the roux, he adds potatoes to thicken it out. We've got our carrots, we've got our potatoes, we've got our onions. Put a couple of these uh, jalapenos, maybe. That's basically as traditional as it gets. Chicken Frico, I like to call it the birthplace to gumbo. Wow, look at that. So we're going to cut this in chunks uh -huh. and add that to our Frico. We can't, can't go wrong. No, 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 no. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, welcome to the farmer's market in New Glasgow. Free what range a, what from the farm. What a marvelous meat counter you have. Let's take one of the big chickens. Let's do one of the big chickens. I think the, the flavor is going to be awesome. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, my lady. That is beautiful. Wow, I, I think it's Frico time. Let's go cook. Using chickens from the farmer's market and vegetables from a garden really truly exemplifies what it means to cook from the land. Let her drain. Coming in, chef. We got her. Frico meets gumbo. It's all about using what's around you. Wow, that's going to be right. amazing. Let's get all these juices in there, too. That's the good stuff. A true Cajun-Acadian crossover. We're going to do lobster on Acadian biscuits. Bringing you here to Nova Scotia and not feeding you any lobster, it's somewhat sacrilegious. Well, let's not be sacrilegious. Frico gumbo. Frico gumbo. <laughs> Thank it's you been so a much, Al. Pleasure cooking with you here in Nova Scotia. This is going to be awesome. Mm. Chef Al welcomed me into his house with open arms. I don't know if he knows that, but that's a very Cajun thing to do. Every time I go to Louisiana, I feel like I'm visiting 
cousins and uncles and aunts. There's no other way to be. Honestly, the Cajuns are open-minded people. This is really, really a treat. To you, to the Acadians and the Cajuns. Ça, c'est bon? Laissez le bon temps rouler. It's amazing to finally find out where my family's history began. It gives me something to take back and go, maybe I should look closer to where I am, using dishes that come from my history and heritage, and to truly explore what it means to be Cajun and what it meant to be Acadian.